the ship the Red Letter. You have somehow, Two-Faced Tannis has swindled you onto this ship. He, you, he has convinced you, or due to your lack of experience, or lack of great appearance, have convinced him to go onto the ship. You have been on this ship for a year. Uh, it's been pretty good. It's a smuggling ship. You all know it's a smuggling ship. You all accept as such. Um, the main idea is to take goods, go to a port, show the customs officer some minor goods, you know, like tackles, rope, whatnot, hide the expensive, heavily taxed goods in the smuggler's compartment, sell that off. Lately, it hasn't been so good. Two-Faced Tennis has had a very hard time trying to find a buyer for the last latest bit of goods. Uh, crew is not happy. There have been whispers of mutiny, but Two-Faced Tennis has constantly been saying, No, 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 guys, I swear, I swear. Once you get the buyer, something big, huge, I tell you, you'll all be rich beyond your wildest dreams. I swear. And then he dances if that doesn't work. And yes. <laughs> also, yes. being a bard does a mighty fiddle dance to uh, distract them and calm down the crew. But there, it's still, it's the back of the mind, eating away at me. the desire for Two money. <laughs> Zoom in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, he has finally found a buyer in the town of the port of Shadowfell. Two-faced uh, Yes, Shadowfell. Um, he hasn't told you much about it, just that he said he has a buyer. Um, you're about one day away, so... There. You all wake up to the bell of first watch. You've all been sleeping in your private cabins, working away, resting at ease. It's not the usual good sleep, it never is. Anyone want to wake up and do anything before the officers' meeting? Hmm. Anyone want to take, talk to anyone on the crew? No, I, I go kick clerk. I wake up clerk. What? I have to wake him up every morning. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't wake up unless you order him. So. <laughs> Come on, clerk. It's <laughs> time uh, for the day. He died. Yeah. Yeah. He died. He died. <laughs> And he goes, stands oh, in his corner, you. waiting for the next order. Oh, me name clerk. I prepare my spells. Very good, okay. You spend yes. the hour mm. yeah. mentally preparing yourself. For I do spells. some alchemy. I channel my key, my inner key. Mm. Oh, okay. Are we going to introduce our characters at the officer meeting? Is that the plan? Cool. Okay. okay. So, Peter, I'm preparing one of each of my spells. Except third level spells, I only get three a day, so I'm not preparing bestow curse. Gotcha. Okay. Alright, he's like, alright, how can I fuck them? <laughs> <laughs> this door only opens with a curse! <laughs> I have like four more, so it should be fine. <laughs> I curse you to never close! Okay. No. Right. So nothing extraordinary happens. You all go about your shipley duties that you know how to do. Bosun goes bosoning, Master Gunner fixes the guns, you know. No one's sick right now, Morgan, so you can do whatever you want. Yes. Are all the weapons there? <laughs> well, these one. Let's see. Fifteen plus is a profession. Since sure. I am, well, so plus four, so nineteen. You count the weapons with expert skill, knowing that each and every one of them is there. That's good. That's one of them does look skill. a little bit out of place, but that was because you know that uh, someone was practicing. Oh, okay. Uh, who would be practicing? Clur no. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what, what's your aristocrat's name? Aristocrata? Oh, no, it's Aristo Boxing. Uh, you know that Hyrus was practicing with his katana. Ah, uh, hi uh, yes, Hyrus. <laughs> Clerk was hitting people with a pistol. <laughs> so this more clerk. clerk? No! <laughs> it's not how you do it. Bad clerk. Mm, medium clerk. Okay. So you all eventually make it into the officer's, uh, the navigation room, which has a giant circle table with this map in front of you. And you look at all those lovely little flags to tell you where everything is, and a little tiny boat that represents um, where you guys are. It's moved every day in the corners to where Do Navigator Alligator thinks it is. Yes. Alvin. Yes. That's a cool tiny You boat. all are here early. Two-Faced Tennis hasn't come up yet. Um, as you sit there, you look at your other officers, and you remember a little bit about them. Each of you remember a specific bit that I want... Nick, to start telling you that you remember them, about them. <laughs> Nick, what? start describing yourself as everyone looks at you. Ah, alright. My name is Radley Cook. I'm a 
of uh, Venara, so I was a, I was a human, and uh, in a raid, I found a cursed monkey paw, which I hid from my fellow crewmates, oh, and slowly course. over time turned me more and more monkey like, and <laughs> and, now, and now now I'm basically like humanoid monkey, and uh, hmm. I'm the bosun. I'm a corsair class. My name again is Radley Cook. Cool. Radley. And I'm the <laughs> Radley. Radley. <laughs> Radley. <laughs> we call him so Rad. Nick, how monkey-like are you right now? Are you just really furry face and have a tail? Is it like based on the setting of the sun? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not. You're no, just I'm, like I'm extra furry. Because it just be like you were just barely a monkey, so you have a tail and you how have like. How Saiyan-like are you? Like. No, I, it's sizes. like Wukong. Yeah, mini Wukong like, or a lot of Wukong. No, it's like exactly like oh, Wukong. Okay. Monkey. So Wukong. Okay. All monkey. You are very far into the monkey part. Yes. <laughs> okay. And, right. Yeah. Everyone's eyes, as they remember this about Radley Cook, a little bit mystified as how could you forget Radley Cook? He's a monkey guy. <laughs> He's a monkey. Dude, cool. Eyes turn to Luke. Good old Hightower. Mm. All right, my name is Joseph Hightower. I'm a human alchemist. Uh, I'm, I'm, my brains are slightly addled from many years of drinking potions, so I'm a little bit odd. But that's okay, because I'm an alchemist. Uh, I have come from Zenstini, the city of, or the nation of technological people, and uh, alchemy is a forbidden art by the Inquisition. They forbid alchemy, they don't like it. There was a big, like, Library of Alexandria equivalent. Or Alchem Zandria. Alchem Zandria. Wow. God damn. <laughs> book burning. And then book I found a hidden burning. tome of alchemy knowledge <laughs> that nobody knows I have. Um, and that's where I learned all my alchemy secrets. And I had to run away from Zen City onto a pirate ship uh, so I could finance my potions and my lust for immortality. Uh, my name is Joseph Hightower, yeah. Your eyes quickly dart over Joseph Hightower. You're a little bit scared about what he could do to you if he <laughs> chemicals could somehow yes. spill into I, your food. I throw anything. lots of bombs. That too. You hear lots of weird noises coming from his cabin at night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Oh, oh, that just yeah. <laughs> At night, you hear Midnight <laughs> Clark. <laughs> So, my character's name is Lilith. I am a Rakasha Spawn Tiefling witch. I'm not proud of my Tiefling heritage, however, so I cover up my face with a mask. And I think that's about it. That's all I really need to say. Sure. You are, you are a mystery. He yes. is the first mate at mm -hmm. the agreed upon head of the circular table. Yes. Mm -hmm. The circular the head of the head. You all agree that that's the head. <laughs> Wait, so we got Lilith. What's your name, Nick? Oh, yes. Not Radley. 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 Joseph. Radley. Lilith. Yeah, should your, eyes, your eyes go yeah, left right and a bit down to Morgan's character, John Thompson. <laughs> yeah. All right. Got the so I am John Thompson. I'm a fighter. And I'm a goblin. And I am a super smart goblin that was an indentured servant to a doctor in Zensteni, but I grew so passionate about all of the different reading materials and medical procedures that I tried to perform medical things myself. And when the doctors discovered them, that I had healed these people, they saw me as a threat because goblins are not allowed to be doctors. So they kicked me out. And then I continued practicing my trade on the free seeds. No one judges you when you're a pirate. Exactly. Not even monkeys. Not even monkeys. No, man, I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a monkey nurse. What was the name again? Oh, it's John. Oh, wait, what's the name of your John? monkey nurse? The name of my monkey nurse is Jameson. John Jameson? <laughs> I am John. John Jameson Thomas. <laughs> Can I call you gut grab? No. Yeah, what's the you gut grab part? No. no one knows. No one knows. That is. Oh. that is my goblin name that I'm ashamed of. Oh, okay. 
John Thompson. Your eyes have to work hard John as you Thompson. try and find Mason's character, Marco Fourfingers. <laughs> Marco. <laughs> Is it Marco or Marco? It's Marco. Marco. <laughs> Marco, Mark, Marco, like that. Marco, let the name ring. Marco, it's a Marco. Marco, feel, Mar- yeah, Marco? yeah, yeah. Feel Marco? the music. Marco Polo, Marco. Marco. Is you? it with an L at the end or Marco? No, Marco. Marco. Just Marco. It's like Marco. M A R C O. I don't. Four fingers. Marco. 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 Oh man, I can't roll words. Right. What else do you know about your character besides the fact that he has a weird name? <laughs> hey, Marco is a legitimate name. All right. I'm from a cat. Yeah, you guys can call me Hydra. My name is Marco oh, Four Fingers. I'm a cat folk ninja. Yeah. <clears throat> Grew up on a small coastal town mm. in the land of where's the barbarian? No, no, Mason. Yeah. They're what? the natives of the Western Expanse. But still, where is it? The Yolans? The Yolans. Yolan town. Okay. And I was great at mastering the art of catfolk magic, which is called Ki. <laughs> but I was expelled from my village during a fiasco where I was using my key for evil means. So they exiled me, and now I make my way across the high seas, plundering and... Oh, you're not plundering yet. You're smugglers. Smugglers. Smuggling. Them. You have dreams of plundering, and dreams. you wonder why you bother with this sissy trade. Yes. Sissy boy. Then your eyes go to childish character Alvin. Yes. Did you zoom in somewhere? A strange lizard man. Yes. My name is Alvin Schrader, and I am an alligator folk. I used to live on Alligator Island, which is a super secret place no humans know about. No one can find it. The alligators didn't even know there existed a world outside their island. They just lived there happily, and I would live there with them too. Until, like one day, I was like 11, I fell into the ocean, got swept away, and now I'm in this shitty-ass human world, and I want to get back to alligator town. So I became a a navigator to try and find my way back to home. And that's why I'm on this ship. I'm a navigator getting some experience. Eventually, I want to find that secret... Alligator tropical paradise oh, that I call home. Um, the visual of your character? <laughs> oh, there's a visual. <laughs> you just drew some eyes on that. Well, look at that. Oh, yeah. All right. You're not You're beautiful. Beautiful. with shields. Stop it. Ignore, <laughs> ignore, ignore the figurine. I got it wrong. <laughs> this is, it was just like that. It's, you got a big beak. It's a <laughs> alligator beak. Wait, he has a. He has the beak. <laughs> oh god, I didn't, I didn't see oh, that. I'm gonna have to draw 